Hey everyone, Ray from Razorworks. Um, just another uh, little tidbit on my uh, on my project here for the shear. Um, I cut out the uh, the piece of shit lugs that they had in here. Um, I just did not like them. They were not the same from one corner to the other. Um, so I cut them out with my torch and uh, ground the uh, the remnants out. And uh, so now I've got some clean. Um, metal here to reattach my uh my new lugs that uh i've got all laid out over here and uh so here's a a shot of these things so there it is all bolted together still it's a great way to move these things around that's for sure but uh anyway the other side this side's dark so you can't really see but the you know the corners down here um, the lugs are uh, are removed, so uh, let's spin around here to uh, where I got my layout. And here, of course, is my trusty Boo Boo. Can Boo Boo say hi? Huh? Boo Boo say hi? Uh, I guess not. He's kicking it for today. It's a little hot out here. But anyway, um, here's my layout and uh, dropping the phone in the in its uh, holder here. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but uh, I've got bluing um, dye, the blue dye, on the back of these things um, because one uh, set of calipers are set for the dimension that I want to come in, and uh, the other one is set for the dimension on the width coming in this way. So, um, in fact, uh, I don't think that's, nope, it's two and a half. Okay, so I need to come in another quarter. So, setting up my calipers, two inch and a quarter. Okay. And yes, I use a tape measure to uh, get me there quickly. So, um, I marked these on the back because on the face of them I've got this radius cut out and that is my bevel that I'm going to weld into once these things get mounted in the corner it'll give me a, a nice bevel edge to lay my weld into that's against the, uh, the existing plates over there so when you're welding heavy um, pieces of stock like this that is uh, pretty much a normal practice. So, um, just for all you uh, beginning welders, um, that's uh, that's how that's done. So basically, I'm marking the backside because of that bevel right there. Um, it's a little hard to, uh, and this is the surface I want to go off of, not this one. So, um, these are all going to be consistent going against the the metal once I weld it in. And so this is the surface that I want to reference off of. So, again, in order to get a nice accurate measurement, you can see how it slips off of there. Um, I just flip it over. So, um, anyway, and this is the reference. The, the top of the radius is the reference this way coming in. So, uh, we'll just mark that a couple of times so I can see it. Okay, and this one, I know you guys have seen this a thousand times or, you know, marking a piece of metal to drill it because that's so that's what this whole thing is about I'm going to um, drill and tap um, my 5 8 18 bolt right here and these are going to be the um, the studs that go down against the floor that will allow me to raise and lower the machine on all four corners to get it nice and level so threading threading this the bolt will go through there then the nut will go back on after the fact 
to once you get adjust, adjusted to where you need it, this is basically a, a lock point. You just lock this down against the threaded in here and uh, those things will not move. So that's, uh, that's what we're doing. So again, using the, um, the reference edge that I'm going to be welding is my uh, is my layout so as you can see I have a uh, two sets of calipers they're both Harbor Freight specials and uh, for something like this that isn't um, that critical as far as measurements are concerned um, these things work just fine and that's another reason why I use my tape measure because when you zero these things back out see they don't go back to zero <laughs> gee golly I wonder why uh, so anyway um, but that being said um, we're going to center punch these and I am working on this is the top the, the base the table of my shear right here that I've uh, that I've got sitting out here it's all primered right now and uh, ready for me to uh, get it in my paint booth I should say my paint room right Stan and uh, get some paint on this thing but the first things first so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause everything and uh, drill and tap these things you guys don't need to see me do that you've seen that a thousand times so uh, anyway, just to show you progress that's going on with this thing. Um, again, man, thanks to everybody for uh, subscribing to my channel and uh, checking in and, uh, and uh, giving me pointers and giving me thumbs up and all that other good stuff. It's, uh, it's very cool. So thank you guys for that. I'll be back. Razor checking out. Okay, bye.